The data map screen provides a simple view for large volumes of data that would otherwise require dozens of dashboards. This UI is an incredibly powerful tool for building a top level view on even the most complex systems, or simply to slice your observability data in totally new ways. We begin by creating a new group to define a base data model. This data model defines the structure of your data map and will help you create the groups that appear on screen. I'll choose a load time metric from the list. I can then select generate groups and the data map UI will automatically highlight the categories from the metric labels that I can use to visualize my data. CoreLogix will automatically detect and sort the labels attached to your metrics. As we can see, the data map UI automatically categorized my data into method, then status, then category. It has also highlighted five other ways I can group my data together. Current order isn't quite what I had in mind, so I can change the groups that I use to visualize my data. I'll order by country, then method, then request IP address. Now I want to add some color to my data map. Inside my request IP group, I can open up my group status settings. I don't have to decide on color status based on the base data model metric. I can pick any metric I like, but in this case, it makes sense to use the load time metric. I can select my aggregation from a range of statistical functions. We'll take the average of this value as a simple aggregation, but we can have many other options available for us. Here, we can also preview the values for our data so that we can remind ourselves of the most recent measurements when setting our thresholds. We can now input some threshold values based on what we've seen in our preview data. Once we've set some sensible values, we can apply our changes and view our map. We can see some are red, yellow, and green. This high level view tells us instantly where the problem areas are in our data and gives us immediate feedback on detailed changes to our system without overwhelming us with information. On top of this, we can zoom in on a given node and investigate the low level data. This will give us a snapshot of the data for this specific node, providing us with a more detailed view for this given element in the data map. For more complex visualizations, we can filter the nodes in our map based on the fields that are available on our chosen data model metric. For example, we can view only the HTTP data for a given country. Data maps can scale to render huge volumes of information in simple, digestible formats to make the complex task of tracking your entire system far, far more straightforward.